So we're on beautiful Tin Can Beach. It's uh, approaching the middle of December. The waves are, are coming in. This is one of the gems uh, in the South End. The, uh, the vision for this area is to eventually have Harbour Passage come all the way down from where it is along Water Street to wrap around through this area and in the long term go right up to Rockwood Park. This is a hidden treasure down here. Uh, it's called Tin Can Beach, but it's far from uh, full of tin cans or, or litter. It's beautiful, actually. Uh, there's a bit of sand and a bit of rock. There's some, some large granite uh, boulders blocking the, uh, the sea from the, from the land. And what's really amazing is you can see all the way over to the west side, unobstructed. You can see right out to the, uh, to the ocean. There's perspectives here that all you see is just the beautiful Bay of Fundy. And uh, it's a hidden treasure in St. John. It's just one of one of our many hidden treasures, uh, but it's a hidden treasure that needs to be to be built on. It's the kind of, of place where we can take the vision of this city to the next level. It's the kind of place that inspires what St. John Cannon was always intended to be: the most beautiful, most vibrant, most amazing city in all of not only Atlantic Canada but all across the Eastern Seaboard. This, this is the very place where, where the people that built this city initially landed. And it's places like this that inspire them to build the kind of architecture we find here. Not only in the south end, but just across the way in the old uh, part of the lower west side where you have original clapboard houses with stone foundations that, that date back, in some cases, almost 200 years. It's just an amazing spot. You know, they, they talk about our city being disconnected and, this is a place that inspires connection. If we if we vision, and it's not far off in the in the SJ the the, uh, the plan SJ uh, vision, it's contemplated that there could be a, a harbor taxi sometime down the road linking the uptown uh, to the lower west side. Well, that's the kind of thing we need to have right now. That we need to put on the forefront. That we need to build links between our community with. We can have the equivalent of inner city tourism uh, going back and forth from one side of our community to the other side of our community, creating investment opportunities on both sides. Tourists then don't just stay uptown, they take the ferry across to the Lower West Side, they spend dollars over there, shopkeepers create businesses, homeowners take pride in their, in their properties. We revitalize the center of our city. And if we focus on revitalizing our neighborhoods, we focus on areas like the Lower West Side, that's going to only do positive things, both for the morale of our city, because people talk about, they talk about not having pride, they talk about feeling down about their communities, especially on the Lower West Side, they, they say, you haven't got the same kind of pride and inspiration we'd like to have, we feel down. Well, you know what? Having that kind of development would only, only encourage the real feeling that we should have about this community, which, it, which is, we are the number one community in New Brunswick. We are the leader in every sector. It doesn't matter what sector we talk about. We talk about art, we're the leader. We talk about culture, we're the leader. We talk about business, we're the leaders. We talk about entrepreneurship. We talk about the creative arts. We talk about uh, social media. All of those things, we're the leader in. And we just begin, we just need to begin to believe it. Belief in our community, pride in our community is the first step to making these things reality. That's what we want to do. That's what we think City Council can inspire. That's why we're offering to be your voice on City Council and to make those visions reality.